So I recently started making my own jigs and got some powder paint and a jig pouring kit and all of that stuff. But um, I also just recently had the idea to kind of touch up some of my spoons like this one here. All of the paint's completely uh, non-existent at this point. This used to be a green and silver. So I'm going to add some color to this, make it like new again. Um, and the inspiration for this whole idea was I went to go find some of these the other day, and this was the only one I could find. Um, they had them like this, and I thought to myself, oh, I'll just paint myself a orange stripe on the side of that, and it's the same thing. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and paint these two spoons. I'm also going to... Uh, paint a couple spinners. I've got this um, rooster tail here where all the the paint all came off of this middle section. So I'm going to try and paint that up, make that look nice again. Um, I've got this number five maps uh, that I wish was pink, so it's going to become pink. Um, I've got this other old spoon that's really just beat up and crusty looking. I'm just going to breathe some new life into that one. Uh, this guy, I've only caught one fish on this spinner and I've probably had it from my tackle box for five years. So I'm going to recolor the blade on this one and uh, I'm going to do something for some trout fishing. So like a pink blade maybe on that white body I'm thinking will look good. So I'm just going to touch up some of these things and uh, show you guys how I'm doing that. Hopefully I can do it without doing a terrible job. I'm still pretty new to this and the powder painting thing is, is a bit tricky. Um, it's not that tricky. Um, I'm not exactly equipped to do it in a professional uh, capacity by any means. But for what I'm doing this is uh, working out pretty good so far. So I've got some Protec powder paint and I've also got... Um, this is Carl's, no, Zender's, Zender's Bait Shop. Um, these ones were a bit cheaper to order online. I bought these in a store for slightly more. Um, the Zender's ones were six bucks for two ounces. Uh, I've got a couple other colors. I've got this raspberry color, and then uh, I've got like a glitter clear coat that I can put on there too. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try and see what we can accomplish here. I'm going to start with the spoon. That's kind of my uh, test subject. And I kind of played around with this earlier and tried taping off a section to see if I could get a line or a half and half kind of a thing. It actually worked out okay just using electrical tape um, to tape it off. So I'm going to do that. this side that was originally painted before. I'm going to fire up my Black & Decker heat gun. I got this on Amazon for $15 for painting jigs. And it works great. So if you're looking to get into painting lures and you're looking for a heat gun, this thing was dirt cheap and seems to be quite quality. like as of now. I'm going to peel that paint off in a minute after it cools off. While I'm waiting for that to cool, I'm going to try and do this one. This one's going to be a little trickier because I want to not melt off all these little hairs here. So I've got this uh, wrench that I use and I just I stuck a little magnet on there and it works really nice for doing what I'm doing right now because I can magnet that end of it into place there then hold the blade there and I can work with this section of it without it all moving around on me um, 
So that's a clever little tip I came up with. Again, I didn't do a fabulous job doing that, but this is going to look a lot nicer when it's done than it did before I started. Alright, let's see how this one turned out. So it's not the most beautiful paint job I've ever seen, but honestly it doesn't really matter. That does not really uh, contribute to whether or not I catch fish, like the perfection of the paint job. It's the color and the flash that's going to get the bite. So I think that's going to work just fine. If I bust all that paint off, I'll do it again sometime down the road. So this one will be a little different. This one's already painted and it's even got a glossy coating on it. I kind of scrubbed it and washed it a little bit earlier. Um, let's see how this one works out. Alright, so next up, uh, pink Agila number no. fives are like my favorite for springtime and they're actually kind of hard to find. I prefer the gold blade. Usually the back is gold and the top is pink. Um, this one's going to be an oddball one. It's going to have the orange and yellow body, silver blade, and pink top. I think that's going to be a good thing. I did a better job dumping the uh, paint on it more evenly that time, and uh, I think that turned out pretty pretty good. Alright, this one, like I said, I just I haven't caught many fish on this, and uh, I've never seen a Panther Martin come with a pink blade, so we're going to make that happen today. didn't turn out terrible. I got this crack that formed right here somehow, but there was already a layer of like uneven paint and things there. Again, I don't think the fish care. The color is what matters, the flash is what matters, the vibration is what matters. They're not really going to notice. I probably shouldn't even do anything to this one because this is like a vintage MEPS, but uh... I don't care. I'm gonna make it colorful so I can catch fish with it. Not that I won't catch fish on it as is. It probably would catch fish just fine as is. Um, but we're gonna doctor it up. I'm actually gonna go orange with this one. That's what I wanna do. Orange on a gold blade. You can't go wrong with that. That's why I like these ones in the gold version so much. That orange and gold is pretty magical. Little plastic bit. 
plates, because if I melt those, the whole thing's not going to work right anymore. So I'm actually going to do it more like this. Just gonna dip right in there. That worked really good. Got a little on the back more than I wanted to. I like to keep that gold blade on the back because you get the contrast of the colors when it's spinning. Um, but that's all right. I'm gonna use my magnet again to keep those hooks out of the way. So that I can just paint these two bits here. Actually worked out pretty good. My uh, shrink wrapping was starting to melt and smoke a little bit. Uh, not could have moved it ahead of time. That would have been better. Uh, but I got a good paint on that side. It actually didn't paint the other side. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and just paint that other side too. blade, yellow body, I think that's going to catch a fish. Alright, now for this Cleo. You know, originally I was thinking um, I might do chartreuse here since I already have a brand new orange one. Um, I kind of want to go pink. I really like the way this one looks. Uh, I wouldn't mind having one in a bigger size that has all three trebles. But I think what I'm going to do is get fancy with this one and do two colors. Turn out all right. It's gonna take a couple. Alright, so that's what I ended up with. I've got some brighter colors here now. I've got some of my favorite springtime color combinations on some of my favorite fishing lures. Uh, I think that this will have me set up to catch some fish. Uh, I can't wait to catch fish on each one of these. <laughs> fish. I'm gonna 
custom painted spoon. Nice small one. Yeah! Oh, that's a tank. <laughs> Alright, check this out. I just caught this pretty nice smallie on my jig or my uh, spoon that I just painted last night. I thought this color combination seemed good to me. Certainly. Look at that. Woo! That's exciting. I know this spoon color is good now. Let's see if I can get another one. Get this guy back in the water here. There he goes. 